Hello everyone and welcome to the next lesson. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about drawing D1, D2, D3. And after that, we shall draw the tapers. But now we're going to start off with a blank drawing. And again, I'll quickly run through um, what you did in the previous lesson just to make sure you're recapping and all that. So I'm going to just draw out three lines. And I'm, I'm going to stand on F8 um, to just make sure. And I'm going to just offset the lines by uh, the line width, okay? So here we're going to have something like this. And I'm going to just assume we have three lanes and I'm going to just assume, okay, I'm going to just assume we have four lanes uh, just as a start. And then I'm going to just draw a lane at 90 degrees and I'm going to just offset the distance by 3.5. And I'm going to select the, the lanes that are the center lines and I'm going to make them red just for us to get an appreciation. And again, I'm going to just draw a huge circle around this to trim off what we don't need. So I'm just drawing a circle around this and I'm just trimming. So let me, I'm going to just assume our work area is 200 meters. Okay. So I'm just trimming off what we don't need. So it's okay. If you don't want to do this, um, we are going to save this drawing as <coughs> junction manual start, okay? Uh, so that should be okay with you. So we have the manual junction start, okay? And what we have to do, we have to do a number of things. Now, I'm going to extend this line further back and say, okay, um, we are again having... The alignment will be going there, but I'm going to break it at this point. I'm going to just break it just to uh, create something similar. And I'm going to just assume we're approaching with single lanes, which are roughly 3.5 meters, which is roughly around 10 feet. Now I'm going to put these in yellow. So our goal is we need to transition from a normal road into the junction. And again, I could, I'm going to do the same this side. I'm just mirroring. Um, I'm just mirroring what we have um, here. I don't want to delete this. So we come with normal lanes, we transition. We come with normal lanes, we transition. I'm going to design this for left-hand drive, but if you're, if, you're, if you're driving on the right-hand side, you can also follow along, okay? So this will come in a bit later. Um, the goal is transitioning and drawing the islands. And as we draw that, you're going to see the complexities that come in regarding that. So the first thing is we're assuming that, let's say this is going to be our right turn lane coming down, okay? And this is going to be that. So now what we could do is, now with Civil 3D, we can quickly uh, create uh, connected alignments. And all we just have to do is we can create alignment from object and that, and we're okay with that direction. And I'm going to call this westbound approach. Okay. And I'm going to click okay. I don't want to erase existing entities because I need that. And I, I'm just going to repeat the same action. I just did the right click there and we come into that. And I do the same. And I'm going to call this eastbound approach. Southbound, this will be southbound. Okay, southbound approach. Don't erase existing entities, it's the same. So again, we're also going to do the second, we're going to do the, the second one, repeat the same. We're doing it for the center line. And I'm going to just give the center line what we always give them, MCC00. Don't erase existing, and we do the same here. I'm going to give this MCC01. In the previous lesson, you learned how to do this, but now I'm just showing a faster way how to do this. 
So I'm going to just assume we need to create connected alignments for 15. So we click alignment. We go to create connected alignments, select the first alignment, select the second alignment, and we're picking that corner and we're hitting, uh, let's start with um, roughly, I'm just doing a circular fillet because I don't need much. I'm going to start with roughly 25 because um, you shall find a junction. Um, we make sure I don't need any offsets, so make this zero, okay? And this depends how far you want the overlap to be. Overlap of 25 is okay, because remember our working area is quite really long. And it's going to create that connected alignment. I don't need the chain edges, because my main interest is in, in this. The beauty with this, you can keep adjusting the junction based on how you see fit. Now the next thing we have to do is now we have to draw the second part, which is for the swept path analysis. Right click, create connected alignments, connected alignments, and click there. And after that, what you're going to do is, we're going to go to parameters, and now we are going to select a three center arc. Now, we need to modify this. If you watch the previous lesson, we talked about this ratio. So if we have used 25, we need to use three to four times. So we're going to have this, there's gonna be an offset. So let's assume, um, before we come to this, I'm just going to come back here to show you what we're trying to do. So roughly this was 25. Swept path guides on this offset here. So you can find that this, was 19 so we assumed roughly um an offset of six meters so we're going to do the same 19 and then these ones were roughly 60 okay so we're going to do the same we're trying to create the same thing we have here and all we have to do is come here create connected alignment select this select this hit it hit enter after this, what we do is um, we are going to use a three center arc and we're going to do the same. Already this radius is 19. This radius is 60. And this radius is 60. Okay. So we click OK and you can see it has created something very much um, Similar and remember this is all in real time. I can I can edit this all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to estimate the swept path last time we had to do this manually, but You know we could do this and the beauty of this is when you open up vehicle tracking and we say okay uh, Let's say the vehicle is um, WB19 um, which is uh, a very popular design vehicle. Um, I always go to vehicle category category and all that. We talked about this in the previous lesson, um, but quickly I'm just looking at the length and I know something around here is something I should look at. And I'm going to just draw automatic drive and I'm going to click OK. I always set it on the left hand side. And I'm just again going to try and simulate and check that we are okay with this. So my vehicle is coming. And roughly, I'm assuming 15 kilometers per hour because we're assuming we will have traffic signals, but you can adjust this based on your case and situation um, regarding this. So we reach here and I'm going to turn off, I'm going to turn off, I'm going to turn off snap because snap can be a bit intrusive. And I'm trying to move as close as possible to to the swept path. Moving down and the vehicle comes back down. And we can trace this and we say, okay, if the vehicle is coming something like that. Now, what we tend to do is we design this into the outer lane. Okay, that's something um, we'll talk about earlier. So if in case you had a single junction and you had to design for this, you would say, okay, uh, what's going to be my offset? Your offset is going to be something like 6.3 meters, okay? 6.3 meters, unless this is off. Okay, let me go back, edit. 
we're going to edit the connected alignment. So go back to alignment properties and go to connected parameters. And now we're just trying to check what could be off. Okay, so we go back here and we're like 19. We have this as Sixty. This is red as nineteen. So I'm just trying to make sure everything is okay. So this is what we had created. We can see a swept path, but then this doesn't seem to mirror what we were expecting because what's happening is we're supposed to have an offset of six. What I showed you in the previous um, um, lesson. So we're trying to have this offset of six to mirror the swept path analysis that we have. If we're just to place a vehicle outline. Uh, vehicle outline is here and we are just saying okay um, we just need to see how the vehicle is going we can see that so we just need to create an offset now it's a bit different what you have to do here you have to subtract okay you have to add so if we go here in the radius we're going to do something like um, rather 19 we're going to do plus 6 we're going to do 31 and we keep the rest the same. And if you do that, it kind of mirrors something close to uh, what we're expecting uh, in regards to that. So I'm going to just remove my swept path. And I've quickly gone through that to just show you how uh, we create that um, kind of analysis. So after this, <coughs> we've talked about how to draw. This is how we draw the functional area. So what you're seeing here is we've drawn that functional area, but now we're using automatic tools. Now we are going to go to drawing um, of this functional line um, for this. So again, um, we're trying to create something much similar. So now I have been told, okay, we need an extra lane here. Okay. Um, we need to move this down a bit. So we need to move this red line down. Offset by 3.0, by 3.0 meters. So this is now where we need to move the right turn lane. And I've also been told the same thing here. Um, we need to move this uh, by 3.5 um, to create the what we mentioned earlier. But we want to keep this maybe where it is, <clears throat> but because we're designing a much larger vehicle, let's move the alignment to, to the left. So we're going to do that. We need to turn on snap so that we're able to do that. Then also here, that's the beauty of this, is we're able to do this in real time. And I'm going to move this to the bottom lane. Okay, and this to there. Because they've told me this is going to be our right turn lane. So I'm going to, I'm just picking up some things from the drawing. That's the three meter lane. And I'm going to just pick up this uh, icon. I'm just copying it, copy this we're coming back here and we are placing it so this is we've started now to design our right turn lane and we've said okay uh this this should be okay this is going to be our right turn lane which is going in the outer lane okay it's going in the outer lane it's not going in this lane okay and again we are going to have um, we're going to talk about something else again, and we're going to keep uh, modifying this junction as, as time goes on, as, as we move things. So now we have designed the right turn line, um, we've designed the functional area, um, we've added an extra lane, which we've said, okay, it's going to be our right turn, and this is going to be our straight through lane um, in this case. So I'm also copying this here, and we go here, and we place it, okay, paste. And we're going to rotate it um, just to make sure it's good. Now, after that, the other issue we have is, okay, if this is our right turn lane and this is our through lane and that's our through lane, um, it's very important we're keeping notice of this red line. If you can see now, there's been some shifts that have happened, okay? And now what we want to do is we know this is going there, so we are okay with that we are now trying to establish okay roughly where should our um, stop line be so for now we're going to just draw a quick stop line that's going to be roughly um, 
first stand, it's going to be roughly around here. Okay, roughly around here because we need to do this and we need that to move. And that's coming here. So the, the stop line for this junction now also for this other arm is roughly going to be around here because you don't want them to get knocked. It's going to be roughly around here. Okay, so we're going to take, I'm going to take snap off. And why, why do you think that's the case? So if that's the case, then we're going to have a trim here. So we have drawn that and we know, oh, that's going to be a stop line. I'm also going to trim here and we know this is going to be a stop line in the opposite direction. So we've drawn that and now we are trying to add more things as we go along. So because these are supposed to be behind, so let me just move them to the back. And I just copy this here as our junction starts to take shape. Now, we have indicated that. What are the other things we have to consider? So let's give a quick example. You've told me the storage length should be, if we go back here, we did roughly at the time a storage length roughly of 60 meters. I always just start with 60 meters, which is roughly around 180 feet. Okay, um, for those who are following and drive on the right hand side. So I just draw a circle of 60. I always use the circle as one way. And now we are going to get into the taper lesson. Um, in the taper, we're going to the detail, but I'm going to just assume we have a taper. And um, let's assume that's 40. We're going to the, this detail into the taper lesson. And I'm going to just draw a line from there to there. Okay. The purpose of this is just to um, get that going. And we have a taper from there, and then we go back into this lane here. Okay, so we're going to draw this. And I'm going to kind of draw it in yellow. So in just a nutshell, being able to draw our D1, D2, D3. This is just a start. Now, you have to do this for the other arms. I would want you to draw on this other arm and try and move that here, doing what we've done here. And I hope to see you in the next lesson.